The MCU doesn't care about the comics at all. To anyone who's been paying attention, that's not really news. And if you've really been keeping an eye out, you've probably noticed something even worse. Not only has the MCU abandoned the comics, but now the movies are influencing the comic books. So now the crap you're seeing fail in the movies is being pushed into the comics. Everything is falling apart. To be fair, the comics have been going downhill a lot longer than the movies. The difference is that recently, in the last decade or so, they're ruining the comics so they can set up the nonsense they want to do in the movies as being canon to the comics. The example that reignited this issue was the recent revelation that Kevin Feige wanted Miss Marvel aka Kamala Khan to be killed off in the comics so they could reboot her to match the weird mutant arc the MCU is putting her on. Now if you're an idiot, go ahead and listen to Marvel deny that and claim they had this planned for a while. That makes total sense. Both the movies and comics just so happened to come up with the exact same change to her character all on their own. Just like all the previous lies to come out of Marvel, this is just a load of BS trying to cover up an accidental slip by one of their writers. Looking at this guy, something tells me he won't have to worry about getting fired from the rainbow alphabet lovers at Disney and Marvel for what he said. Well that sucks! Again, this isn't breaking news because we've all known they love shoving in some garbage to the comics just so they can add it into the live action universe. Just look at Miss Marvel and Ironheart. They're both characters created very recently and both of their TV shows got pushed to the front of the line. Projects starring fan favorite characters like Nova, who've been around for decades, are still in development hell, but these two got prioritized. Their comics sold like dog shit and they keep getting creative reboots every year, but Marvel keeps lying to themselves that people want to see these characters on screen in place of clear fan favorites with a proven track record of success. The fact is Marvel is pushing these characters because they check off those sweet sweet diversity boxes. Gotta hit those quotas even if it results in the least watched show in MCU history. The Ironheart show got rushed into production and is so fucking terrible, Marvel has absolutely no idea what to do with it. That crap was supposed to come out last year and now it's maybe gonna be released next year until they decide to delay it again. Clearly these decisions are paying dividends for the morons over at Marvel. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better. And as usual we'll get called all kinds of made up Istin phobe words just for pointing out these facts. Ask yourself this, if these weirdos love characters like Kamala and Ironheart so much, why do their comics constantly get cancelled? Where are these weirdos when Marvel needs them to show their support with money? I'll tell you where, they're unemployed living with their parents and complaining about the next issue that all their friends on Twitter are crying about. That or they work part time in Old Navy and live in a dingy apartment that barely fits their 3 cats and 2 dogs. Like I mentioned in my Stellar Blade video, these weirdos are not the audience you can rely on to financially support any kind of entertainment. They'll happily write 10 tweets in a day raging about a character's butt or waist being unrealistic when they secretly wish they could look that way if only they had the willpower to put down the box of donuts and hit the gym every once in a while. But buying comics or games or movie tickets? Not a chance in hell. They'd rather shell out hundreds of dollars on kitty litter and frozen pizzas. Hey, jump off a boat and let the boat leave. Starve in the ocean or get eaten by sharks. The movies have been ruining the comics for years in some idiotic attempt to appeal to these losers and it's been failing. Whether it's the Guardians of the Galaxy or Thor like this article mentions, the MCU has been shaping the comics to match the live action crap for a while now. It was one thing when the movies were actually good, but now both the comics and the movies have gone to shit. There's absolutely nothing for real superhero fans to enjoy anymore because what ruined the comics ruined the live action universe, which in turn ruined the comics more so they could destroy what was left of the movies. It's a vicious cycle that has no end because Marvel has been failing for so long that if they wanted to change they've had plenty of time to do it. You take a look at their upcoming plans for the X-Men or Fantastic Four who are supposedly the future of Marvel and clearly they have no intention of changing their ways. Makes total sense to me. If I was losing hundreds of millions of dollars a year, the only smart play would be to keep doing the exact same thing and expect things to miraculously get better. That is so deeply pathetic. As a fan, all you can do is sit back and watch this thing go down in flames. Most fans are showing their distaste by holding onto their money and Marvel is suffering because of it. 
They have nobody to blame but themselves for how things are going, but of course, they won't take any accountability and instead just insult their fans. Because as we all know, the best way to get fans to support your product is to call them names and tell them they're all terrible human beings.